Magandang araw po sa ating lahat at uh, sa araw na ito ay ating tatalakayin ang isa na namang topic no? patungkol sa Philippine Army Affiliated Reserve Unit or PAARU no? So ito yung tinatawag na PAARU or APARU or AFP Affiliated Reserve Units So ano yung mga qualifications and mga requirements at sino-sino yung mga mga qualified na mag-apply ng APARU or AFP Affiliated Reserve Unit ating alamin now according to HPA letter directi directive dated 01 February 1993 uh, sa makikita nyo po sa ating screen Subject, Organization, Training, Administration, and Utilization of ARU. No? So, HPA letter directive po ito. No? Galing sa Higher Headquarters Philippine Army. So, in line with the major, major trust of the Army to organize, develop, train, and maintain a ARU for the furtherance of the overall mission in the 10-year modernization plan. No? So, nung mula 1993, may modernization plan after ng effectivity ng uh, uh, Republic 70-77. No? So, another uh, legal basis ay yung HPA Letter direct Directive dated 25 February 1994. Subject niya is Procurement and Separation of Philippine Army Affiliated Reserves. So, the components of the affiliated reserves shall be of private and government entities at national, provincial, and municipal levels, which provide essential public services such as water, light, transportation, and communication necessary to support the national defense plan or meet an emergency. No, so sa directive nito ay inespecify kung ano ano yung mga mga component no or mga affiliated reserve na pwede mag-apply such as water so yung mga water company light company transportation company and communication company no so yan po no so the components uh, water lights transportation and communication shall be organized as affiliated reserve unit constituted covered and appropriate order to be issued by general headquarters AFP is designated as Philippine Army Affiliated Reserve Unit, no? So, bawat branch of service ay meron po tayong kanya-kanyang mga paaru, no? Halimbawa sa Philippine Army, Philippine Navy, at uh, Philippine Air Force, no? At tayong uh, APRESCOM, no? So, itong paaru or aparu supposed, supposed to be ay... Uh, uh, may sarili po itong entity no tulad ng uh, tulad ng APRESCOM pero since hindi pa po ito na organize because this is one of the components of the uh, reserve no lima kasi yan eh so ibabalik ko lang yung Philippine Army Reserve Philippine Air Force Reserve Philippine Navy Reserve uh, yung APRESCOM at yung paaro dapat so lima dapat yan no pero hindi pa po ito na na fully organized or wala pa po itong sariling uh, kumbaga ay sariling uh, independent no na status na ang paaro unit na ito kaya every paaro ay nakatas lang po sa mga branch of service natin no so next slide is policy so in the selection of establishments private or public utilities and services organized as paaros the following fields of interest with functional services related to combat services support units of the of the army shall be considered. So, yung sinabi ko po kanina, water, power, communication, transportation, and others. No? Pwede rin construction companies, hospitals, and manufacturing companies. No? So, limbawa, construction companies, uh, kung ano yung mga construction companies na na ano, mega wide uh, un, uh, mega world no mga, something like that ng mga company malalaking company sa ating bansa eh pwede po silang mag-apply ng 
Ah, paru. May water company. Yung mga iba-ibang water company sa kanya-kanyang probinsya. Or, or uh, water district, no? Company sa ating uh, mga lugar. So, pwede po sila mag-apply ng as affiliated reserve. Pwede po sila. Mga power, mga kuryente, mga electric companies, communication companies, mga smart, globe, ganun, no? Transportation companies, kung ano man yung mga, mas mal mga malalaking company, no? Hospitals, so magamit po yan ng Philippine Armies, no? As paru, or uh, magiging affiliated kayo, pwede kayong magpa-commission, pwede po kayong ma-enlist, no? So, mamaya, sasabihin ko po ang mga uh, paano i-process po, no? Ng enlistment at yung pag-affiliation, uh, ano yung mga requirements, no? So, next is number two, a memorandum of agreement shall be made between these headquarters and establishment to be organized as paaro prior to the commission enlistment of its members no kailangan meron pong tinatawag na MOA or MOU no memorandum of understanding between sa company and the Philippine Army headquarters itself no uh, bago po uh, i-organize ang isang paaro number 3 the quota for commission enlistment to be Concerned paaro shall be limited to key and technical personnel sufficient enough to take and operate the establishment in the case of emergency. No, so yung kung ano lang yung mga kinakailangan at tama yung mga key personnel at mga technical personnel lamang na kinakailangan doon ay yun lamang po ang ipo commission no ng ating uh, higher headquarters no so yung mga support other support na hindi naman masyadong kailangan ay uh, Eh, hindi po dapat yun na isasali natin, no? So, yung mga key personnel lang ay mga technical. Yung mga direct na nag-involve doon, na operator, lahat, no? Yung operate ng, ng kuryente, yung mga, yung mga lineman natin, no? Ganun, so, at yung mga executive, no? Or yung mga nag-in-charge uh, operations, no? Number four, officers or enlisted personnel procured shall not be em employed for purposes of other than those within the purview of the affiliated reserve component program, no? So, kung ano lang yung, ang, uh, ano lang yung scope nila, ay doon lang po sila i-deploy, uh, no? Doon lang po sila i uh, doon lang po ang scope and uh, scope and limitation ng kanilang trabaho no? so next is paro processing procedures so paano ang mga procedure para i-process ang pag uh, pag-affiliate no uh, para ma-accredit ang isang paaro or uh, Philippine Army Affiliated Reserve Unit or AFP Affiliated Reserve Unit sa Philippine Army no or sa any other branch no as the case may be so sa sinabi ko kanina, solicitor and soliciting agencies memorandum of agreement, no? So between the Philippine Army and the the company organization. So the organized paro shall be recommended to general headquarters with the unit designation for approval and issuance of appropriate orders supported by MOA organizational chart and rooster of key technical personnel to be to be commissioned enlisted under this program no so organization organizational chart no there must be an organizational chart of the key personnel and technical personnel doon sa isa submit natin ng mga isa sa mga requirements no so lahat yan i-attach yan memorandum of agreement so yun ang pag-process no number 3 so ano yung training Military Orientation Training or MOT shall be geared towards the development of techniques in internal and external security and control and defense of the establishment against terrorism, infiltration, sabotage, and raids to promote camaraderie and spread core among the members of the units. No? So there must be a, what we call this, a training, no? So military orientation training. No? So tulad ng sinabi ko sa mga nakarang mga vlog ko, uh, may certain period of time yan na hindi kakandak sa kanila. No? But not more than 45 days of training. 30 to 45 days. 
So, mabilis ka may orientation training lamang yan para uh, ipofocus lang natin ang ang uh, techniques no in internal and external security and control and defense of establishment. So, internal security and external security, control, defense of establishment against terrorism, infiltration, sabotage and raid no. And also to promote camaraderie and is pretty core among the members of the unit. So karon tayo ng uh, friendship and uh, close relationship no within our unit members commission enlistment so qualified personnel of the vital public utility shall be recommended for commission enlistment in the reserve force philippine army based on their certified approved roster of the organization so based on the submitted uh, organizational chart or roster so doon po ibaba si yung commission ship so may mga kanya-kanyang mga requirements yan so later ipa-flash ko yung mga requirements no for commission and enlistment ng paaro personnel natin number 5 maintenance administer and evaluation a periodic maintenance training shall be conducted by the philippine or uh, uh, by the army reserve command to their respective affiliated units to ensure their oper operational readiness, no? So, there must be a periodic maintenance training. So, may mga refresher course yan, may mga maintenance course, maintenance training para ensure yung operational readiness ng ating uh, paaro kung handa na ba sila in case of emergency or pwede na silang i-call to active duty, call to service kung magkaka-emergency, no? So, kasi during emergency ay kailangan po natin ang mga establishment na ito para tumulong sa ating mga tropa uh, as a combat service support, no? So, combat, serv combat service support not necessarily a, a combatant or combat uh, uh, combat uh, work but a support like uh, water, yun nga, uh, transportation so kailangan ng transportation so, kumuha tayo ng paaro natin na transportation na member na uh, paaro yung uh, mga companies na inaccredit uh, in natin. No? Members ng mga company niya, mga, mga company na inaccredit natin sa ating Philippine Army. Next is requirements for activation or of affiliated reserve unit. So, ito yung mga requirements, no? So, ipa-flash ko yung mga requirements A, B, C. Kailangan naka-folder po ito with green folder and with dubbings, no? So, meron yan, A, B, C, D. So, recommendation of soliciting agency. Uh, okay. then, number two, categorization and scope of coverage matrix, no? Companies, organization, roster. Table of distribution and allowances of the affiliated reserve unit. Memorandum of agreement, semi-annual report. So, yan yung uh, isasabit is natin and then uh, requirements for commission. Ito naman, Mem recommend this for commission shall be screened. The application paper shall include the following documents in six copies each. Duly accomplished application form. So, ibibigay ito, no? Solicitor's evaluation, biodata, 2x2 two two colored picture, affidavit of non-pending case, birth certificate or certificate from the local civil registrar but supported by joint affidavit in the absence of birth certificate kung wala po kasi lang birth certificate next is command clearance no so ito yung mga command clearance yung NBI police barangay clearance magsasubmit po no ang bawat paro members natin ang mga court clearance lahat ng mga clearances bago po sila bigyan ng command clearance no next is educational credential such as college diploma kung sa mga op, mga mga head ng uh, department natin or sa operations no na maggusto mo pa commission mga executives o so, meron yan mga mga requirements yan bar bar uh, passer ba siya or board passer ipa-attach yun PhD so including transcript of records so lahat yan certificate of employment kailangan yan uh, proof of practice a profession or employment record lahat yan ay naka-authenticate no so, yun lamang po no, ang tungkol sa ating Philippine Army Reserve Unit ng mga requirements no, for commission, enlistment at accreditation.
So, ang paaro na yan ay uh, magagamit natin in case of uh, emergency of, of our country. No? For example, if, if there is an emergency, we can mobilize those uh, paaro uh, members, no? affiliated reserve. So, makukomission sila, magiging reservist na sila. At kung makukol to service sila, ay magiging sundalo sila, no? Within the period of time kung kailan po sila nakakol to active duty. No? Kaya ng water, transportation, communication. So, kailangan natin yan sa oras ng emergency, no? So, maraming maraming salamat po.